Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw and for those of you who regularly follow my video blogs and Facebook updates um, you will know that I've been tackling the Islamophobia issue and the global rise of it um, and within my video blogs I've discussed at some length as to the authenticity of ISIS or ISIL or IS or whatever they decide to call themselves the authenticity of them actually being Islamic and the connection that I believe they have to Mossad and Israel. There are a number of reasons why I believe this to be the case, but um, in the last video that I made, I cited the fact that the Jews News, uh, which is um, the largest Jewish reporting um, paper on the internet, um, were absolutely outraged at the fact that they had heard that um, ISIS, so-called ISIS terrorists, were being treated in Israeli hospitals. Um, to which I replied, if that doesn't tell you that there's a very big problem, I don't know what does. So I've already discussed at length um, as to why I believe that um, ISIS is not Islamic, um, and, and another reason why I believe that um, ISIS are controlled by Mossad and, in fact, the Western governments are for sinister plots. I've said this quite openly. I'm not entirely sure what they are. It's to do with power and money. We know that and oil. But um, on the basis of Mossad being linked to ISIS, um, a friend of mine on Facebook, Safira, thank you, Safira, for sharing, uh, brought my attention to an absolutely amazing man. Now, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see, so I need them here. Excuse me. An extremely wonderful video by a man called uh, Anthony Antonello. And he, uh, in the video, was explaining the same things that I have as to um, ISIS, ISIL, IS, not being able to stick to the same name. Anyway, with um, this great man, uh, Anthony Antonello, has discovered... Um, a rare and quite old video where Israel actually admits that Mossad is ISIS. Now, first of all, he discovered this book here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There it says it's by Dan Rabib and Yossi Melman, and it's called Every Spy a Prince, The Complete History of Israel's Intelligence Community. Now, within that book, um, this is the book that's been discussed on this link that I'm going to show you now. Um, this is a direct, um, directly from uh, Anthony's video blog, but this is a um, interview where Israel admits that ISIS is Mossad. So if you just bear with me, I'm finding the beginning of the link now. And have we got it? So, as Anthony says, there you have it. And that that particular video was um, made some time ago. So, I want you to question, as I have been doing all along, what was once a, a small group of Muslims fighting against a government that the Westerners put in is no longer a resistance movement. It's been turned into something else and taken over by something else, and I think that is Israel and um, that very video there just proved that point really I've been saying I've been saying it for some considerable time we are being taught to hate Islam we have to start questioning why Islam is not to be feared 
Islam is a religion of peace and it's being taken over by terrorists. Terrorists that, quite frankly, don't know which direction to pray in. They're being treated in Israeli, in Israeli hospitals. And quite a lot of them, uh, well, they're speaking English. All of their videos, everything is um, directed towards the Western... You and I, we Westerners, it's all directed towards to spread fear. 35,000 people belong to ISIS. There is nothing to fear. What is to fear is who is behind that, and I think Israel and the Western governments are. So please, try and do some research for yourself, because they're leading us down a path of hatred for no reason. ISIS is a device to spread fear. And if we don't stop it and nip it in the bud, God alone only knows where it's taking us. So people, please, spread the word. Let everybody know the truth. ISIS is not Islamic. There is nothing Islamic about them. Thank you.